everybody and welcome back to the engine house. I'm your host Gandy Dancer and once again we're in the living room because the light is better and I have some boxes here. We're going to do an unboxing. Uh, some new stuff came in at the engine house so we're going to see what it is. I'm going to share it with you and of course everything has to go to the lab. The dogs get very curious. Okay, first off, we have, now of course a lot of this stuff is going to get packed up right away again as soon as I uh, unbox it because we're moving soon and I do not have time to mess with it. I'm just going to show it off and uh, go from there. Wow. The uh, guy that shipped these really did a good job. First off, we have these coaches here. Uh, there should be two Pullman and an observation. And what do you know? There's the observation. Now, I ordered these because I thought Dreyfus locomotives would look much better pulling passenger cars rather than freight. And I already have a set of these that's green. Uh, it's the exact same style, just green. Uh, the roofs need to be sanded down and uh, repainted. These, uh, other than a few chips and, and bruises, uh, they look pretty good. Um, they're lighted, so they have a light. I'll be checking those. And they actually really look pretty good. This looks better than the one I have. It's in green. It was all rusty. And, of course, the trucks look much better. Um, the others will be uh, gone over when I move and I have more room. The house we're moving to has a finished basement, so I'll be uh, able to spread out there a little more than I am able here. So that's... I will have two Dreyfus locomotives pulling two sets of passenger coaches. And now for this one. Oh, packing peanuts. I don't want the dogs eating packing peanuts. And this is something I have been searching for and found. I will unwrap this. I can find the end of the, uh, wow. This is the well, if I can ever get it out of here. We'll get a look at it. Okay. This is the Dreyfus Hudson version A. Okay. I have the version B. As a matter of fact, version B, version C. You can see the difference, cast aluminum wheels and painted wheels. This is the version A. Very nice looking, very clean locomotive. The uh, headlamp is in good shape versus this one. This one overall, I'd say, is in really nice shape for its age. Both of these, of course, are 1946, and this one is... 1947. This is the version C. So now I have one of each. I have the full collection. 
So two of these, this of course was the wife's dad's right here. This is the one I was originally looking for passenger cars for, which were the green ones that I had. And then when I got this one, I decided it needed passenger cars as well. And I found these and I ordered them. This one will probably switch between the two sets when I get it running. Okay. And this one, of course, this one, as you can tell, did not come with a tender. So this, move this over here, this over here, and this over here. This is and again these are wrapped up really tight which is great that's what you want when somebody's shipping these things across the country keeps them from getting damaged like a kid at Christmas. This is, would you look at that, this is the tender for one of those two, version either a, uh, version uh, A or B. And as you can see, it's a whistle tender that uh, needs a little help. A couple things are broke here, so I'm going to have to do some modification and uh, maybe find, actually I could probably JB weld that in place, and new wires, and of course then this should probably work. I'll clean everything, but again, not here. For now, everything is getting boxed up. We have a very good looking tender overall, the shell, and of course these are supposed to be white. They look gold, but from what I've been finding out, uh, they just they turn that color over a, over time just the age so there'll be new lettering put on these and the other uh, tender that I have with the uh, other set the uh, the class the B and <coughs> excuse me I have another C version this was sold with the tender so now I have two C's. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do with this one. Uh, I'll make it run, and I will probably put it aside. It does not have a tender. Um, my wife says I have enough Dreyfus locomotives. It's time maybe to move on to something else. So I probably will not get this one. This one will probably be, a, a, if nothing else, a parts locomotive. I don't know. I might feel sorry for it. Find a tender, get it running, and put some cars behind it later. We'll see. Um, I also have many other projects. I have, of course, I have the green cars that are the same that need work. I also have a, an S gauge American Flyer locomotive that desperately, with its cars, it has seven uh, freight cars, um, desperately needs restoration that will be going into the engine house sometime after we move. But <laughs> as I said in an earlier video, I've kind of become an become hooked on these Dreyfus uh, locomotives. I really kind of like the style of them. And uh, the only way I could not find a tender just by itself, it came with this. Somebody had put the wrong tender with the wrong locomotive. And so I wanted the tender for the uh, version A. I had to order the two of them together. So I don't know yet what I'll do with this. This one actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, I don't see a whole lot here. That leads me to believe uh, that it will it won't take much maybe a good cleaning and this one will run but again we're packing everything I packed up the transformer yesterday and uh, again these will all get packed and later I will deal with uh, with uh, making these run this one has a light which the B model B version as you know when I First got it did not and it does now this one at least has a light um, nothing appears to be locked up here so this will get a good cleaning it looks like judging by the wiring 
That looks like a fairly modern wire there. Somebody might have changed the E unit in this already. So this might not take much other than a good cleaning. But again, it'll happen much later. Um, I'm not going to do anything else here. We are packing to, to get ready to move. And I just don't have the time, much as I'd like to. Anyway, uh, here's the uh, shop cat here to check out everything. Make sure I'm doing it right. And of course the dogs, our St. Bernard, and our other two, they're all curious as to what's going on around here. And of course now they want to take a nap. Anyway, that's it for the unboxing. And again, once we get moved, I'll be doing more things. I'll be setting up a layout. I'll be uh, uh, digging into that S-Gage uh, American Flyer. I'll be uh, building, uh, scratch building some uh, O-scale buildings. I have some plastic build buildings that came with one of these sets. And I'm going to use those as templates to make my own buildings. So there'll be a lot more going on than just the engines in the engine house. But for now, this is what I've got. I now have a full collection of Dreyfus motor, uh, and locomotives plus one. And uh, <laughs> now I can have some fun. Anyway, that's everything for today. And uh, have a great day, everybody. And uh, bye for now.